I've been testing out the Jawduino coat. What I've got right here is this is a talking skull. This is actually a Bucky, which has a servo in it. The reason there's this tape all over it is because since you can hear the servo, we tend to turn this into a robot, a cyborg, and we process the MP3 so he's got a cyborg voice. Down here is the uh, the Arduino setup. This is a Diavolino, which is an inexpensive Arduino clone from Evil Mad Science. Plugged into it are what are the these are the um, shields. These are wing shields, which allow you to to punch in a whole bunch of extra connections, and you can see screws and things like that. These are a couple of relays that I'm not using in this current project. And over here, of course, is the audio board. Now, the thing that's interesting about this is I've got. Um, a tra the track that's used on the test tone demo, on the tone demo that shows you how to an animate a skull, I've got that here with the an this here with the animation, and I've got it so that I've got just the voice with the uh, the track that goes to the skull amplified a little bit. So I'm going to play this one first, and let the camera adjust. Here we go. Now, if you do this again, watch the word way at the end. It's not very loud. Proceed with caution down the candlelit hallway. And so he kind of closes his mouth. Now, if I go back over here to the computer, this is the version with the animation, and all of these blocks at the top are the, uh, the uh, animation tones. You can see at the end, I wanted this jaw to be open, so I put in... A nice long beep there, which only the uh, the the skull is going to hear. But watch what this looks like. Proceed with caution down the candlelit hallway. Now, what's interesting is these two are pretty close. So it seems to me that if you have um, something like this, where your recording is really quiet, you can do one of two things. You can either bump up the volume, which is what I've done right here, and it still doesn't make that big a difference for this section down here, or you can add a test tone um, so that you can manually drop in a few things and um, edit the MP3 if you've got a spot where the jaw doesn't animate the way you want. Um, on the other hand, it looks pretty good as it is. Proceed with caution. Down the candlelit hallway. And if you're willing to ignore the fact that sometimes the voice is going to be lower and not trigger it, you're okay. <laughs>